given now we'll see how to calculate factorial of given number so we'll see this first output then i'll show you suppose 5 so answer is 120 suppose let's take one more so in javascript you can see now we'll take a new program every javascript file is saved by extension dot html suppose this is my new file okay i will just remove this so to write any javascript code you can write in body section of html or in head section or in external file so to write any javascript code you have to write a script tag and between script tag you have to write all the javascript code so after script if you are using notepad then write language is equal to javascript so all the javascript to be written between the script tag so we will declare the variable so we are calculating factorial of given number so we will write fact is equal to 1 I will tell you what is why I had given this semicolon now we will accept the number by using prompt function this is predefined function which is used to accept the data from the user that is accept the string enter any value close the bracket give semicolon save the file in between give any name i had given fact1 i'll give suppose fact2 dot html give any name but extension should be dot html so here now i had accepted the value now here what i'll do i can use while loop or for loop or do while loop so we will calculate till n is greater than equal to 1 so i'll explain you what is use of while loop to execute the statement again and again till the condition is true so use curly bracket if you want to include more than one statement then use curly bracket so we'll calculate here fact is equal to fact into for into which sign star sign into number then number is equal to number minus one so how this will get executed so i'll explain you n is equal to n minus 1 give semicolon give curly bracket now only these two lines are there because more than one line then use curly bracket after any condition not to give here semicolon because this is a condition so this statement will get executed again and again these two lines till this condition is true when it becomes zero then it will come out of this loop means after this curly bracket so we will print the result by alert function or you can print by document dot write or by confirm factorial of given number is So we will write now here plus sign. Now this plus sign is not for addition. So the, our result will be stored in this fact. So write fact. Final result. So close the wrong bracket. That is parenthesis. Give semicolon. And save the file in between. Now uh, this you have to close script tag. You have to close body tag. And you have to close head tag, uh, HTML tag. Run. Now we'll accept any number. Suppose let's take three. Factorial of three is six. We'll run one more. Then I'll explain you. Run by this arrow because this is Android app on mobile. So factorial of this is one twenty. Okay. Now how this get executed? 
now here we had a why we had assigned one because this is called initialization and n we are accepting the value in n so uh, prompt is used to accept the data it is assigned to n now this while loop is used because we want to multiply that number again and again till it becomes one okay so n suppose we had accepted three so what it will do uh, that is it will check 3 is greater than equal to 1 yes then what is the value of fact initially is 1 we had assigned 1 because we want to multiply something no by number so 1 into 3 this 3 will get assigned to fact then what is the value of n 3 3 minus 1 it is 2 then uh, 2 will be assigned to n then again it will go up uh, in while loop then it will check 2 is greater than equal to 1 yes then what is the previous value it was 3 so 3 into 2 6 now here uh, what was uh, n's previous value it was 2 now uh, it became 1 so a uh, 1 is assigned here then it will go here or uh, 1 is greater than equal to 1 yes then here previous value what it was 6 6 into 1 because n value is now 1 so 6 is assigned here now n is equal to n minus 1 now n became 0 because n's last value was uh, this is called dry run if you run this way uh, uh, 1 minus 1 0 now this condition became false then it will go up uh, 0 is greater than or equal to 1 no then it is false then it will not come here in between this state. directly it will come out of this curly bracket means out of that block of statement then it will print so what is latest value here 6 so 6 will get printed here not to give double quotes here uh, because we are printing value of variable this plus is to join this message with result it is called concatenation so you can see how to load uh, android app on mobile so you can practice on mobile javascript so you can see my previous videos in that you will get how to load